everyone. My name is Mark Prindle from markprindle.com. Uh, today I'm wearing headphones so that I can hear my iPod better. And the album we're talking about today is... Uh, actually, Mark, can, yeah. can you show me the album? Yeah, it's right here. No, it's don't called put it right Move it. Hey, oh. don't, don't put it right in front of my face. Well, you want to see my face. I don't think so. You want to see my face. It's the Renaissance. And they want to see Henry the Dog's face. Oh, okay. Henry, Maybe not. See? They want to see your face. Yeah. They don't want to see his shitty face with the shit all over it. Hey, see that's a beard. Uh, how are you going to do this? There's no turntable on the computer. Oh, I, I can sing the songs. I doubt that. Uh, kings and queens. Da, 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 oh, right you believe this guy? Oh, this hey, guy. Hey, hey, hey. Enough. Where are you going? Up your Get ass. Back here. I screw you. Get back here. Hey, up your ass. I'm not through with you. You're through with me. I hate you. Okay, so today we're talking about the first album by Renaissance. Now, you may know Renaissance as a folk rock band with Annie. as a band featuring Keith Ralph from the Yardbirds. Here he was in the Yardbirds looking like a young British man. And here he is in Renaissance looking like a small adult. And also Jim McCarthy from the Yardbirds, the drummer, who is, I guess, one of these two. And also uh, Keith's sister, Jane Ralph, was in the band. And this guy, too, he was also in Renaissance. But this lineup of Renaissance played piano-based prog rock, as you can hear behind me. Also had some sort of jazzy groove and some rock and some uh, uh, did I say classical? Did I say classical? You know, and they go into these extended Keith Emerson-like things. Yeah, that's probably what they're most like actually. Was Emerson Lake and Palmer the piano songs of Emerson Lake and Palmer? Or the piano-based songs of King Crimson? Uh, there's some moments of yes that are similar to them, like the bit uh, in the middle of South Side of the Sky with the piano solo. They were real piano based though. But they only made two albums. Uh, this is their other one, Illusion. And this wasn't even released in the United States originally. Let's move on to... Uh, they only did two albums before the entire band quit and were replaced by Annie Haslam and everybody else who kept the name Renaissance for... I don't know what reason, I guess just to take advantage of it. You know the reason for the changing of the seasons. And you want to know why blue is the color of the sky. See, I didn't know all those other lyrics, but I knew they in there. Anyway, it's a good album. If you like prog rock, if you like classical type music, I want you to hear what his sister sounds like, too. She's got a really sweet high voice. Can you imagine her singing? She's singing to you. Okay, and then let's, I'll play one of the, like, sort of jazzy parts. They're doing some... I don't know what they're saying, some George Harrison type of crap. To do the Hey Charlie thing again. Soft machines, they're kind of like the soft machine too. But anyway, so they were good. Both their two albums are good if you like this kind of music. Of course, if you're not into piano, you might want to try Keith Ralph's last band before he electrocuted himself to death. Armageddon! Here he is looking like a big, tough, long haired rocker in the rubbles of Armageddon. And I actually. Shut up. Oh, yeah. Hear that? That's a harmonica. Like in the Yardbirds. That's... He's playing his mouth harp. He's playing his Jew's harp. He's playing his angel's harp sitting on a cloud because he electrocuted himself in 1975. But here he is. If you're sick of pianos, I'll leave you with some Armageddon. The guitars. Can you imagine how much this would kick ass if I were really playing a guitar here? Here comes the wah wah pedal. Here we go. Okay. But let's get to the part where Keith Ralph sings.
Watch this stupid.